Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding integers using the fantastic mathematical model of counters. Now, what are integers? Well, integers are just numbers. Numbers like 0 and 1 and negative 1 and 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, and so on and so forth. They're positive or negative whole numbers and they also include zero. So we're looking at adding numbers like this. And we're going to use counters to do it. Counters are our secret weapon for adding integers. They're really amazing. Counters might look like this. You have a positive counter and a negative counter. Positive and negative. And these counters make the whole process something visual, sometimes something we can actually move around, like have a physical counter in front of us. And when you use them, it really helps you make sense of adding positive and negative whole numbers. It really helps. It helps with integers. So let's go through it. Again, counters. You got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, I think you got it, right? But the important thing is that this positive counter, it can represent one positive number. And it usually does. But it can represent really any amount. And the same is true with this negative value right here. It could be negative one or even some other amount. But for the sake of this video, we'll have them represent one each. Now in this problem, it says use counters to add one plus three. Simple enough. We start with one positive counter. We add three more, and then we pick which of these represent the sum that we're looking for. And we know one plus three, that's four. And you can see one, two, three, four positive counters here. That's the sum. There we go, we've got it. Now, the same process, it's very similar if we're adding negative numbers. So for example, if we have one negative counter, and we add to three negative counters, we put them all together, and look for the sum. And again, that word sum will keep popping up. It means adding, right? The result from adding, essentially. So in this case, if you took one of those negative counters and put it with three more, you would have one, two, three, four negative counters. And that's the answer, negative four. And you can see that negative four. It's part of the power of this model. And it's really interesting when we're adding stuff like this. It's, let's say you have negative one plus three. So now you're starting with one negative counter, and you're adding three positives. So how do we do this? How do we deal with that? Let's look at the model a little bit closer. The key to this model, the reason it's so powerful, is that it helps us realize that for every one positive counter and one negative counter, for every pair that we have, they cancel out. This is called a zero pair. Basically, the positive and negative, they undo each other, and they disappear. And if we look at that fancy animation again, boop, every positive and negative pair disappears. It goes away. And that's the key to this model. And you can see the answer to this problem. So if I add one negative value, negative one, plus three positive values, the answer is positive two. It's what's left over after that cancelization, after it goes away, after that zeroing out. And that's our answer here. Get rid of the pair. And what's left is the positive 2. And you can cross it out in any way you want. Just identify those zero pairs, and you'll be able to solve these problems quickly. So in this case, the answer is just 2. Essentially, there are two more positive counters here out of three counters than there are negative counters. There's only one negative. There's three positives, and that's two more positives. What about the empty box? How do we deal with that? You might pause the video and think about what kind of problem would give you an empty box? Well, opposites. Opposites will do it. So for example, negative 3 and positive 3 are exactly opposite of each other. So if we take a closer look at this, we can see why these are truly opposite. With each pair, one, two, three pairs of positive and negative counters, we essentially have three zeros. The whole thing cancels out. And that's why the answer is the empty box. All right, I hope this helped.